In industrial and oil rig environments, color coding of pipes is a vital safety measure. It helps in quickly identifying the type of substance flowing through a pipe, whether it's hazardous, safe, or requires emergency precautions. 1. Green. Used for water systems. If it's bright green, it usually indicates portable, drinking, water. When marked with black stripes, it often refers to industrial or cooling water, which is not safe for consumption. 2. Red. Clearly identifies fire water systems, including sprinkler pipes, fire hydrant lines, and deluge systems. Red pipes must be visible and accessible at all times for emergency response. 3. Blue. This color designates compressed air lines. It's typically seen in workshop or rig flow areas where pneumatic tools are used. 4. Yellow. Reserved for flammable gases, such as natural gas, propane, or fuel gas. Yellow pipes should always include warning labels and arrows showing flow direction. 5. Light blue. Used for oxygen systems, often in welding operations or medical gas lines. It is critical not to confuse this with compressed air, which is a darker blue. 6. Orange. Commonly used for hot water lines. It helps differentiate these pipes from cold or potable water systems. 7. Silver or white with black lettering. Indicates steam lines. These pipes often run at high temperatures and can pose burn hazards. They are labeled clearly to prevent accidental contact. 8. Brown or purple. Usually represents hydraulic oil lines, often found in mechanical control systems or heavy equipment. 9. Purple or orange, depending on the site. May also be used for chemical lines, especially those carrying acids or other corrosive materials. These should include clear hazard markings. 10. Gray or black. Designates sewage or wastewater pipes. These are part of the waste management systems on rigs or camps and must be handled with hygiene precautions. 11. White with black bands. Typically used for vacuum systems, especially in labs or process areas where suction is needed. Additional safety practice. All pipes should have clear labels that include the name of the content and the flow direction. Color coding should follow recognized standards like ANSI ASMEA 13.1 or ISO 14726 unless a site-specific protocol is adopted. In hazardous areas, hydrogen sulfur zones pipes may also have warning symbols, not just color codes.